it is finally time to get back in the rank. This is your opportunity to prove that you got what it takes to be the greatest roller champion. But for that, you need to know how to defend your goal. Let me give you a hand. To take the ball from your opponents, you must tackle them. Roller Champions has five different tackles you can use that all have their own uses. All tackles will go into the direction that you are currently skating towards. This is a normal round tackle. This is great for short range as it does not result in movement loss. In fact, it can actually help you gain speed when you are slow. If you need a little more range to tackle your opponent, you can use the dive tackle. As stated, this has a bigger range, but you will lose all your speed by using it. This is an air tackle. You do this by tackling when in the air. This has a huge hitbox and can even be used on targets on the floor. Like the normal tackle, there is no penalty for using this and can even speed you up at times. Then there's the dive tackle. It's very hard to aim, but it has a great synergy with the next tackle, which is the uppercut. You can use this to tackle people on the walls. I found the hitbox of this tackle to be quite small. Therefore, it is preferable to combine it with one of the aerial attacks. The uppercut plus the dive tackle already gives you a much bigger hitbox. You can uppercut into dive like this to quickly ambush your opponents or get in positions more quickly. You can also use the uppercut to get on walls and gain speed to follow your opponents. Now that you know all the moves, it is time to talk about some strategies that will help you stop your opponents more consistently and actually bring these tackles into practice. The most important thing is to stay patient. You are defending. The attackers have to come to you. Don't rush in all or nothing. It will more often than not result in a failed tackle and tons of distance gain for your opponents. Instead, try to be as annoying as possible. Don't bite immediately. Linger around the ball carrier like a mosquito at 3 a.m. This method is called shadow defense. By being so close to your opponent, they panic and make bad decisions. Like this, you can easily bait out your dodge, leaving them vulnerable. Or they give their teammates a panic pass. You can slow people down without actually making a move. In Roller Champions, it doesn't matter from what direction you hit the checkpoint. So a more advanced player can choose to switch directions to throw you off. Be careful of this and spread out your team. Make sure someone can at any time face your opponent to stop them from getting the checkpoint. Positioning is key here. If you ever notice your opponent is way too fast for you to catch up, it is a better move to start moving clockwise to meet them there. If your opponent passes you, accept defeat and get around for another challenge. You should see defending as setting up layers. When you get past, you will have a teammate who will be the next challenge. You basically just go back to the back of the queue. This is to ensure constant pressure, and so a higher chance of stopping an offense. Challenge your opponents in corners whenever you can. Corners force you to slow down, hence it is easier to tackle people. Of course, the opponent holding the ball is not the only thing you have to worry about. You need to be aware of your enemy's positions, as they can be passed to. To prevent this as much as possible, you can tackle them so they cannot receive any passes, or you can stand in the way between the passer and the receiver. Lastly, you can use the uppercut to try and save incoming shots. Don't do it too soon, as this needs to be timed perfectly to work. But when you hit it, it's incredibly satisfying. Now that you know the basics of defending your goal, good luck rising to glory in the rink.